way of social media, specifically targeting black voters. But now that Trump has engaged uh, in, in these, you know, essentially Twitter wannabe platforms, um, I'm just curious from you how you think that could potentially be weaponized when it comes to misinformation. Um, the Washington Post did great reporting uh, that TikTok will be a major place of misinformation. We know TikTok is owned um, by uh, a, a foreign a, a person from China. Um, so I just curious your thoughts. What do you think? Well, you mentioned the term Twitter wannabe earlier in terms of what Trump's uh, attempt at building a social media empire, a MAGA social media empire, is right now. It's truth social. And at its very best form currently, it's a Twitter wannabe. Uh, uh, not, unfortunately for Trump, nothing more at the moment. So in terms of how much a player it, it's going to be in terms of online radicalization, I mean, that kind of has to do with how much popularity it's going to gain. And right now, that's a little bit questionable. But what we do know in terms of the level of MAGA-related popularity that it does have is that in recent uh, days, ever since the FBI raid on Trump's home and private Florida club in Mar-a-Lago, um, Truth Social had become a haven in the way that other social media platforms and more, shall we say, mainstream social media platforms had not become for this type of uh, doxed information on not just FBI personnel, the magistrate who signed off on this, uh, but also their families. As you pointed out in the intro, uh, the school that one of the kids went to was bandied about there and allowed to be left up for days and was not taken down until we reached out to Truth Social, uh, which again is under Trump's uh, control since he's the head honcho there. He's one of the founders. It's his company. Uh, they didn't take it down until after we reached out for comment and until after we published the story last night. And um, look, like to make sure we weren't being completely unfair, because there are a lot of things that happen on a lot of different social media platforms that aren't necessarily the fault shall we say, of the people who own them, uh, we did a quick search uh, on Twitter, um, a, a longer, we did a search on Twitter just to do one-to-one one, one -to -one comparison between Truth Social and Twitter.com, and we couldn't find any of the same uh, doxed information uh, that we were describing earlier about the FBI personnel or their families. So uh, take that for what you will.